Good morning. Right, it's the morning after moving day. So yesterday we moved up from Penang to um, Rankawi. Got a grab car. It cost us a little bit more than we thought it was going to do because it was a high demand, obviously, Sunday morning. Cost us, I think, £49. And then two £8 on the ferry. Still a lot cheaper than flying. Hour and a half on the ferry is <laughs> crashed in like sardines. Um, which was okay. Um, the sea was absolutely flat though. If it had been bumpy, oh my goodness. So we come here, we're at the Permandigan in the guest house. Um, you already know we had some troubles getting some places before, because um, Chesney procrastinated too long and there wasn't many left by the time we got to a decision, which is fine. This place is all right. Um, I, I think this is just gonna be middle of the road. It's not expensive, it's only 16 pound a night. Um, it does smack a little bit of colonialism, a little bit like, I'll tell you what it reminds me of, barrack rooms a little bit. Um, the room's not bad, um, it's okay, you know, they the could do with a lick of paint, it's all painted in a bit of a magnolia colour as well, which is a bit, um, and you know, the aircon's a bit noisy, the toilet's a bit basic, etc. But you know, what do you expect for £16? Um, but the pool's reasonable, you know, the rooms are all full here. We were chatting to some German people last night, do you know what? And I think there's, there's plenty of opportunity here to uh, meet some people, have a chat to some people and everything. I think the only downside to it all is there's quite a busy dual carriageway out the front. Um, from which you do get some noise but you know you can't you can't have everything in life all the time you know so we're going to go down to um uh the main town this morning uh have a little look around there but uh, i think it's pento sinang or something like that we're gonna have a uh, little walk around there this morning and we're gonna go up onto a beach on the north of the island have a little bathe in the sea and everything so come and join us for the day hope you enjoyed the pictures there of the um uh, accommodation and everything see you later Are you the captain of this vessel? I am. Why are you wearing a safety helmet then, Captain? <laughs> <laughs> it's all full of jellyfish, Chava. You can see them all from here. That is definitely one of the bad boys. How about that? Look at this then. Look at this then for a beach. As so we came up to the top of the island here. And there, uh, the Tajung Ru Beach. And that's some beautiful islands out there and uh but uh as you've just seen um i've just seen washed up on the other beach about i don't know three kilometers away from here massive jellyfish washed up so you know ooh, i haven't been out for a swim i've been like like three foot off the edge dipped myself in the water a little bit you know splashed some sea water over me and that but you know, I don't think I'm going to be swimming in that, to be quite honest with you. Which is a shame, you know, because we swam in some beautiful seas for the last five months. It's a bit of a shame that it appears that the last month, the last week, sorry, of our, you know, five month trek is we're not going to be able to swim in the sea much. But I suppose there are some pools, you know, we can swim in and that. And also, um, I'm going to look into this later but I think some of the resorts you know you can pay like a five and go and use all their massive great big swimming pools and equipment and everything they give you a towel and all that for the day so we've got a little um pool at our place you know which is okay as well it's not too bad there are some locals in here but they've all got like long trousers long shirts and everything on so you know there they are so you know it's quite clearly a bit of a problem I've just come up to just read what this sign says it just says strong currents so not the jellyfish warning sign that was on the other beach like it is stunning though you know beautiful ride up as well going we're going on a three island island hopping tour we saw this last night here advertised there five pound each and the interesting thing about it is from our point of view is that it goes to a freshwater lake doesn't it and you can actually wild swim in the freshwater lake and considering the sea swimming is a little bit limited due to the jellyfish it'd be really nice to have a free swim round in the lake wouldn't it although i do keep saying to Cheryl that i've heard there's crocodiles <laughs> this is the boat tour holding area
All good, Chess? All good. Got your body warm on? Got my body warm on. <laughs> Everybody here has to wear life jackets all the while. And we're off on an island up in Toru, all nicely packed in here. Seems like it's going to be all right then. That's good. It's quite hazy, so we're really glad actually. We'll get a bit of fresh air on us and it's nice and hazy, so let's go. How cool is that? Bit of nice fresh water swimming now, I reckon. Bit of fresh water swimming, Ches? Leave bags here, yeah? Okay, well this is the final island where we're gonna go and have a little look round, maybe even a little dip in the ocean. We just came up to the lookout point just we're only over there in the trees and our place is actually called uh, Permandigan Inda Lookout Guest House so this is the actual Permandigan Inda Lookout and it's got a great view right you can see across the airport there in the distance right off to the mountains over there we're going up the mountains today to go up one of the waterfalls and then right round in a big arc there it's absolutely beautiful of course it's very early in the morning as well so you know the sun's still quite low still reasonably cool me and my little friend over here hi friend hi. i go in trekking up the mountain up the waterfall up another waterfall across the beach and i've even promised to buy her a two quid tea if she behaves herself <laughs> right come with us for the day look at that how stunning is that oh yeah a tiny little plane going off the runway there Right, well this is the uh, Seven Wells Eco Forest Park and Waterfalls. As you can see on the map there, the various different levels. So we're gonna go up as far as we humanly can and I'm hoping that's up to level seven. And then we're gonna walk up and swim in the waterfalls, hopefully. There's 200 and some odd steps to the first one. And then it's just a hike through the jungle to all the others. There's seven to get to. Yes, seven to get to. How cool is that? No. <laughs> no, not feeling it. Not today. You'll be alright. When you get to the seventh, you'll say, what a sense of achievement that was. I'm really glad I pushed on for the last two hours. There's the cable car in the distance that we're going on tomorrow morning, first thing. It's the steepest cable car in the world, apparently. 
Oh, it's a bit of hard work that is, isn't it, mate? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let's talk about fitness on the trail, soldier. <laughs> you need to maintain good fitness, soldier. I know you've lost all your fitness. Good job you're going home in eight days so you can get beasted around the place. How's that then? That's so nice and cold. It was cold, wasn't it? <laughs> it was I'm not used to that. I can't swim in water that's less than 30 oh, degrees, Gemma. Oh, it was lovely. Was it good though, wasn't yes, it? Yes. I've only good. got a headshot, okay? <laughs> Is that okay? Yeah. It's nice, isn't it? I'm not sure it's worth the 500 odd steps. <laughs> At least we're clean now. <laughs> yeah, but in the wet season it would probably be a bit... It would be wet, more slippier as well. It would be raging in the wet season, mm. wouldn't it? But, um... Yeah, it'd be raging the wet season. I'm not sure it's worth the 500 odd steps though, but at least we're clean now. We've had a wash in there and got all the salt off us and our clothes are dried. Mm. Yes, are you having a little shaky? I am. What sort of shake are you having? Orange and mango. Shaky. Orange and mango, oh my God. I don't normally have a shaky unless they'll do orange and mango. And we said to the woman here, can you do orange and mango? And she said, mixed, yeah, no problem. I was like, oh my God. And I've just seen she's got ice cream cornets as well. Oh my goodness. But we're off to get some plastic chair food. There's been a lot of monkey business on this beach. Um, there's been about three or four monkeys over the back of here. And you know, you just wonder like some people, like how many times do you need to be told? Somebody's had their chocolate biscuit stolen. Somebody else had something else stolen. And you just wonder like how many times do people have to get told before they like actually realize. But anyway, it's a lovely beach, really nice. There, I've seen at least three or four dead jellyfish on here. So we have not been swimming in it, have we, Chess? So we're just on the way back from the uh, beach and here we are at another plastic table delight. And look at that. I think you'll agree, it's another plastic table success. Yep. Cool. Do you want me to do the move over joke? We're actually going for a ride around the island and going down to Kwa today, but uh, we just come across these cattle on the road out. So we thought, you know, why not get a photo of them? We're on the new pushy, aren't we, Chaz? We are. Yes. We like the new pushy, don't we? we? Do. Not it's new. not very economical though, because it's a Yamaha. <laughs> Let's go, friend. Let's leave these animals to their dried up leaves breakfast, eh? Do you want it? We got two beans. Do you want to? Of course, I like these Christ sakes, man! Here she goes. Look at her. Look at the look at the excitement on her face. Look. Here she, come on then. She's even got a little spoon. Look. I know. Oh my God! They're little, like gold coloured ones. Did you not see? Look, there's them ones there, and there's only them ones there. Right, well this is the Legenda Park, which is quite near the jetty terminal where we parked. Um, so we're going to take a walk along here and there's apparently lots of different uh, monuments, statues and different things in here and that. So we're going to have a good walk through it, it's absolutely baking hot, but uh, let's just go and have a look and see what we can see. It looks absolutely lovely, albeit it still looks like, you know, like many of these parks, like it's just past its prime. Like, you know, they haven't quite got the money to do it after Covid, you know, and, and to maintain it. and I don't, I can't, you know, I'm looking from the outside here and I can't see anybody in it hardly at all. So let's go and have a look.
Get off me, you lunatic! Get off me! <laughs> what, so what are you saying? You're not, what did you just say to me? <laughs> not going off the main path, no. Why? Because I've just seen one of those massive, great big... Monitor lizards. Monitor lizards. Who ran across in front of me? And the snake that went into the water. Jess is bricking it now. She's seen the snake go into the water and a massive monitor lizard go in front of her. That's it for her now. Oh, should we go in this bit here? No. <laughs> Do you want to go in this building here? No. Do you want to go off this path here? No. This side path? <laughs> no. Do you just want to go on the main path stick, back? Stick to the main path. Yeah, and then what? Just stick to the main path. <laughs> we was just walking from the car park down there to go on the Sky Cab cable car, steepest cable car in the world. And the guy went, it's that way. So we just walked the wrong way. We already feel a bit stupid, don't we, Chess? Going to be brave today, are you, Chess, on this? I'm going to be absolutely Are you fine. sure? Yeah. It's going to wobble a bit in the wind. <laughs> Come with us, we're going to go on the st steepest cable car in the world to the top and then we're going to do the skywalk. Such fun, such fun. Right, so we bought the ticket. Buying the tickets was dead simple. It's like practically nobody here, like practically nobody here. Look, you've still got to weave your way round and round and round and round and everything, aren't you? But, Hello. <laughs> okay, so this is the Sky Cab. Um, if you come in here yourself, you go down to the bit you've already seen, the Oriental Village. I'll show you some pictures of this while I'm talking. Um, and you come up on the cable car, and it's the world's tallest, steepest, whatever, cable car. You can actually see the uh, dips bending in the cable car as you're going round. Um, and the one cable, as it goes over um, a podium, you can see it all dip down, and then the other cable go up. It's quite um, unnerving a little bit. Anyway, so as you come up, you come up to the middle station, which is that one over there and then you can have a little quick walk over there that eagle's nest bit isn't quite open yet so you have a little walk around on there for 10 minutes it takes about 10 minutes to come up on the cape car you jump back on and do the last bit up to here and then when you come up to this little station here then you can either pay and go down on that little rail, funicular railway type thing there and then or you can walk down the steps like we did we walked down the steps and then you can go and have a walk out on the skywalk around there to the end which we did and walk back which is quite good and you can feel it you know bobbling around a little bit while you're walking on it which is a bit unnerving and also you can see through the glass and then you come up here and you can go and stand on that podium over there or this podium we're on now have a look around at the world see what it's all like and get a great view of everywhere and then over in the distance that island over there that is actually about 10 kilometers away and that is thailand so from there upwards is thailand and from here downwards is the rest of malaysia and out to singapore cost you about 30 quid for two of us to come on here so 15 ish quid each i don't know what the i'll look on revel let's see how much it came out at but it's roughly that it's a great view you know there's not a lot to do though so when you when you go like on the one in penang you go up to the village and there's loads of other stuff to see all you've got here is just what you see cable car sky bridge a couple of platforms somewhere to buy a can of coke right so as part of your ticket obviously you go straight up in the sky cab have a walk around the skywalk and everything when you come back down you can walk around this bit here which is called the oriental village so there's loads of like outlets here and everything but included in your band there's my band you can go to the 3d art uh, 3d art museum and that so we're going to go and make our way up there now i'm going to have a quick look around the oriental village at the same time and i might even buy my wife a shaky Oh, you've already had an ice cream. You don't qualify. Oh, I'm sorry, but you don't qualify, Church. You've had an ice cream, so it's one or the other, I'm afraid. I don't want you being sick on the way home. Come on, you get free entrance to the Sky Dome. You're going in with you, like it or not, Cheryl. You don't have to go in the Sky Dome, Cheryl. It's for children, I've just found out. Right, but you are going in this one. You'll be made to enjoy it, whether you like it or not. So this is the other one you get entrance to, the 3D art thing. Um, which is for everybody. I reckon this is quite good. Let's go and have a look inside, eh? You know what, like, 
do you know what all in all that was really good we went up on the sky cab up on the cable car you can see behind us went in the 3d art we didn't go in the sky dome because that's for kids apparently even though it's free and uh, I was really, really good. For you, for, it was well worth 15 quid. I'll put some pictures of the 3D uh, place on underneath this. I don't know if they've come out well or not, but they certainly come out well in ca on a camera. Not so sure they come out quite so well on the GoPro. So I might put a few stills on if they look all right. But yeah, great fun, Chez. <laughs> really good fun, that was. Yeah. What do we need now then? Food. What sort of food? Plastic chair food. Plastic chair picture food. Brilliant. Well done. Let's go and get some plastic chair picture food. Right, but well, there's a lot of these in Malaysia where you you get yourself some rice from over there, and then you can take whatever you want. There's some fish, vegetables, all sorts of stuff here. You just go along, put it on your plate, and then they just charge up at the end. You don't you don't get charged up like for however many different things you have. You just take whatever you fancy of them all. So how cool is that? Really nice. There you go, well that's the counter thing where you choose from. And then Jess has had herself a beef curry. beef curry with rice and yeah. orange juice. And I've had a little selection of everything with rice, all the veggie bits, which is really, really good. Really nice, I love this. There's still nobody to do the washing, Gerald, is there? <laughs> in fact, this is our last trip to the lawn vet though. So here we are in the lawn vet, last trip, because we're going home in five days. We haven't quite got enough clothes. So today we're going to go have a nice trip to the laundrette where we are now and then we're going to go for a ride up to the top of the mountain and then we're going to go and have a little sit on the beach for an hour or so and just um, dip our feet in the waters there and then we're going to have a look around. I'm not sure what shop uh, eater is going to be open today as well because it's the first day of Ramadan so the place we were at last night said that's it, we closed for a month so we're like ooh, right so we'll have a look around. I'm sure a lot of tourist places will still be open so come with us for a ride around and everything. Um, only one more day left on the island of Langkawi and then we're off to Singapore. This is the road up to Gunung Raya. So we're going to go around all the bends and it'll be beautiful when it chairs. Definitely. And then we're going to the seaside. To the city streets We began to feel the fire we rise like tall buildings As the chemicals, they take us higher The night's young, and it's just begun As she puts her hand in mine We want to chase the night Okay, well we're nearly there, but it's a little bit misty today, isn't it, Chess? Yeah. But it's been a beautiful ride up. I can't believe I've got goose pimples on the way up. Oh my god, how am I gonna survive in England? I'm a dead man walking practically. Every shot from the top, we're gonna we're gonna be two hearts running wild. Well, here we are on top of the summit at Gunung Raya. Um, quite a few communication towers and then some old buildings up there and they said that they once had a head of Commonwealth meeting here once or something. Um, and then you can see, um, see from the pictures underneath this how bendy the road has been on the way up here but it's really lovely it's almost absolutely deserted we've only seen two cars one of them was a police car and a normal car and then we've just come up here oh my goodness it's absolutely like it's quite hazy but it's so cool and everything there you go look at that cool as in temperature cool not super cool here's my little friend here who's coming to get a photo taken over here aren't you can you help me across this gap? Please? Oh, right, come on then. <laughs> Is it not for short people? No. Oh. And I've got my flip flops on, which doesn't help, really. Come on then. 
There you go, well, the normal sized people got across there, okay. <laughs> go and sit in there then, I'll take your photo. Doesn't get a much better location for lunch, does it, Mrs. K? It doesn't, now. Look at this. How cool is that? That's where we're having lunch today. And do you know what we're having? We just saw this sign as we come along the road, right? But we're having this massive sign on the roadside that says Scarborough Fish and Chips. I'm not even joking, look. Look at that. We're actually having fish and chips. I can't even believe it. Bread and butter. Salt and vinegar on. Oh, lovely. Oh my God. This smells like Scarborough. <laughs> Do you know what the difference between here and Scarborough is? At 20 degrees centigrade. And the view. Oh, I don't know. The view's good in Scarborough as well. We've had some beautiful times in Scarborough, haven't we? To be honest. Mm. Uh, look at that. Oh my good God. He's even got... He's even got vinegar. Oh my God. Like we're just walking down the beach at uh, Tajung Ru. Having had our fish and chips and having been up uh, Gunungarea this morning. And that's it, isn't it, Chess? I think that's it for Langkawi. So. We're going back to the pool now, and uh, tomorrow we're just going to have a bit of a lazy day. And I think we've done all the entertainments we're going to do. The only thing we might do any extra is we might go to the fire show tonight. And if we do, I'll put that on. But um, I'm not convinced we will. So that's it. Great. Uh, nine days in Lancavi, really enjoyed it, really enjoyed the island. The only thing that's tempered it a bit is the fact that you can't really swim on the beaches because again like we've just seen in the last 10 minutes like within five foot of the shore we've just seen another massive box jellyfish so that has tempered the edge of it a bit but you know we've got a pool at our place so that's really good. So next time you see us uh, we'll be in Singapore and we're gonna run round Singapore dead fast, aren't we, Chess? For two <laughs> days. <laughs> yeah, because we can't afford to stay three days, we can only afford to stay two. So we've got to run round Singapore and then we'll be flying back. So join us next time in Singapore. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, all that sort of stuff. Bye. <laughs>